Okay, balancing chemical equations. First, we need to know what is a chemical, chemical equation. It is representative of what is happening in our reactions. So what do these symbols mean? So we have this is our yield sign. On the left side of our yield sign, our arrow, we have reactants. And on the right side, we have our products. So the way you would read this is two hydrogen plus one oxygen yields two H2Os. This is a coefficient. So just like in math, if that two is in front of it, that tells me I have two of that molecule. So I have two hydrogen molecules. I have two water molecules. So two hydrogens, and then I have two waters. If there is no number there, just like in math, if I have just an X, you assume that's a one. So just like in math, so nothing there, then we assume it's a one. And we have talked about these numbers in the past when we talked about our compounds and our molecules. And those are subscripts. And they just tell me how many oxygens are in that particular molecule. So if I need to know how many hydrogens are on one side, I would take this 2 times 2, because this 2 is telling me I have two hydrogens. So I have a HH and a HH. So I have two of these. So I have four hydrogens all together. So if we look at the water molecule, it means I have 2 times 2 is 4. However, oxygen only has 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. So there's two hydrogens, I'm sorry, four hydrogens and two oxygens. Okay, so the law of conservation of matter tells us that matter is neither created nor destroyed, it only rearranges. So if I start with it, I have to end with it. It doesn't just magically disappear or appear. So in this case, if I start with 20, 32 grams of sulfur and 56 grams of iron, then I'm going to have to wind up, if the reaction goes complete, with 88 grams of iron and sulfur. So my product will yield 88 grams. Okay, so there's some rules to balancing equations. Matter cannot be created nor destroyed. We just talked about that in the law of conservation of matter. Subscripts cannot be added, removed, or changed. Our molecules are our molecules. We can't change them. You can only change the coefficients. So I can only change the number of molecules. The coefficients can only go in front of the chemical formula. You cannot put them in the middle of a molecule. Okay, so step one, we're going to draw a line from our arrow, from our yield sign straight down. We're going to list our elements. So on the left side, we have magnesium uh, and oxygen. And on the right side, we have magnesium and oxygen. So step three, determine the number of atoms for each element on each side of the arrow. So magnesium would be one times one has one, and oxygen has one times two is two. On the right side, magnesium has one times one, and one times zero.
So these numbers are not equal. Now we'll start with oxygen. And normally, just to give you uh, some guidelines in more complicated uh, equations, save your oxygens and your hydrogens or anything that's by itself to do last, because those you normally just have to change one thing. Uh, so save those to last. So magnesium or oxygen is what is not currently equal. So what do I need to multiply this one times to make it equal to two? Well, I need to make it equal to two. So my blanks. So I need to put a two here. So now I have two magnesium and two oxygen. So I need to determine what coefficient to be made and then adjust my count. Now my magnesium is not equal. So what do I need to multiply over here times? to get to two. And again, one times two equals two. So this is going to be a two. So our this is so now we need to recalculate. And we will go two times one is two. And that was the only thing that was changed. So now I'm even. I have two on each side. Um uh, if you're if it's still not balanced, go back to step six, readjust, recalculate whatever's not uh, right, and do it again. Most of the ones we'll do in the scope of this class, you won't have to go back and forth more than probably three times. Uh, So this is the correct answer. There's a couple of ways to write the answer. Sometimes you'll just be asked to fill in the blanks. If you're uh, otherwise, you might be asked the ratio, and that that's really all we're saying. We are saying we have two magnesium molecules, one oxygen molecule, and two magne yields two magnesium oxides. So this can also be written two to one to two. And you'll see that, sometimes you'll see that as answer choices on your multiple choice test, it written like that. And that just means this goes in this blank, this one goes in the first blank, this one would go in the first blank, this one would go in the second blank, and this one would go in the third blank. So just knowing that you'll see it like that occasionally is important. Uh, 